And we're joined by orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Michael Chang from the Sonoran Spine Center. And Paige was going to be with us, but Paige is still recovering. She just recently had this surgery, so she's at home. How's she doing? By about two to three weeks, she'll be able to go back doing most day-to-day -day activities, but physical activities and sports will take usually about six weeks to three months for non-competitive activities. And then about by six months, she's completely unrestricted. She wow. can go skydiving, play football, whatever she and, wants And to. I think you already touched on it. I mean, this nice. is a significant advancement, the way you're doing it now compared to the way it used to be done. Oh, absolutely. About 20 years ago, we moved to something called a Harrington rod instrumentation, which is a single rod that would straighten the spine. And even though it straightened out the spine, you can see that it takes out the curvature. In the past several years, we've developed pedicle screw instrumentation techniques which allow us to keep the natural contour. The remaining problem that remained is uh, that there would still be rotation of the spine and ribs would not be even. And, and Dr. Shane, I just want to clarify for everyone at home that there's a curve of the spine that you want. Exactly. This model is an example of what actually has been done. This is the same length that she had. It goes from the third thoracic vertebra, which is the third vertebra uh, in the chest region of the spine, all the way down to the fourth lumbar vertebra, which is the uh, one of the bottom vertebras in your lower back. And you can see we put screws into the vertebral bodies themselves and attach them to rods in order to affect this correction. And I think you brought some x-rays that can show us exactly Absolutely. what it looks like before and after. Let's pull these x-rays up and show us what we're seeing here. So okay. these are actually pages before and after? Yes. You can see in the chest region, she has a significant curve, and then post-operatively in surgery, you can see that the rods have brought this curve and, take, and made it straight. Does everyone see that? Yeah. Can everyone? I'm, I'm just going to quickly show everyone. This is her spine. Do you all see that? That's not normal. And so now it is straight. But that is, you know, again, this is not conducive to a normal life and <laughs> normal activities. And it's amazing mm -hmm. you're able to take that and straighten it out. Absolutely. It. Scoliosis itself causes many problems for uh, the people who suffer from it. One of the obvious ones, as you can see from the x-rays, is because it warps the chest region of the spine, it gives them difficulty breathing. They have trouble with athletics. They, a lot of them become pretty thin because as it becomes more and more bent, their chest portion, it takes up more and more energy just to keep breathing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so usually when you correct it, it takes away a lot of the pain issues that they have. It takes away their energy problems and fatigue that they've been suffering from. And of course, there's also the body image uh, aspects of oh, it as and, well. And so mechanical issues, but let's not minimize the body image issues. You have yeah. some before and afters. This is not a before and after of Paige, but I want to show people this because again, you're talking about a body image where you're taking someone from really mm -hmm. an abnormal curvature to, yeah, that's really impressive. Very. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, these patients are all six weeks out from surgery, wow. so this shows that uh, the girls can do very, very well even as early as six weeks out from surgery. And you can see from the back, just from the contours and the shadows, that it's a lot more symmetric than it used to be before the surgery. And that shows that uh, not only have you corrected the curvature of the scoliosis, but you've also corrected the rotational component. Well, Paige, if you're watching, get better soon. We send you all our best. Dr. Chang, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.